Now let's talk specifically about the GFCI as it pertains to a 240 volt service. So that's what this is. This is a 50 amp GFCI mounted on the side of the building. It's an R3 NEMA enclosure, which means that it's rain tight. Water coming at it from this way with it closed, it's going to keep the water out. When it's open, it'll keep the water out. But it wants to be high enough that you're not getting snow packed up next to it or up underneath there. It doesn't do very well with shielding water this way. Here's your GFCI, which consists of the normal breaker, which you'd think of, and then you have this little test button here. Now let me quickly describe what happens when you push that button. When you push that button, it trips, and it won't readily reset just by turning it back on. You have to completely turn it off, and then it'll turn back on. When I pushed that button, I did not create a direct short. What I did is I created a little current or a little electrical leak. You remember how I described what we ended up doing with the hair dryer cords and some of the other GFCIs. What we end up doing with this is creating a little electrical leak so that the bean counter inside here cannot count the number of electrons coming back out of the system. It pours X number in, it wants to see X number come out. I pushed that button and I created a little bit of a leak it's about the same amount of energy as if you took a copper rod and a nail and stuck them in a potato like we did in the elementary school classrooms, middle school classrooms, we remember doing that when we were little kids. And you could actually create a little bit of a battery. That's the amount of energy we're talking about with that button. I push that button, it creates the teeniest little leak, it no longer can see and account for all that energy. Boom, it assumes that it's going through a human body millimeter um, milliseconds later that thing is off and the tub is de-energized won't reset solution go ahead turn it off turn it back on and now the tub will reset our jacuzzi tubs can deal with a power off situation and reset when you turn it back on now the computer is going to go through do its diagnostic start up and it'll pick right up where it left off it's not going to harm the computer you notice i did that a couple times the tub reset over and over that's not a problem